all gone, then just repossess everything, you pig! Uh, what's this? Uh, that is T. State-of-the-art computer. No, it's a scanner and printer, okay? And there's no power cord. Jeez, I think it's a mercy, isn't it? Well, does I'll be repossessing a sign today? A sign and a scanner? Uh, no, just the computer here. Scanner? Just, just the scanner. Okay. Yeah. And is that it? Is that... Sorry, is that your company sign? Uh, well, well we, we did have a much better one, actually, but they are budget cuts. It's unfortunate to hear, sir, but I'm afraid uh, that does have to come as well. Oh, well, c can we not just keep it? Well, well, well I presume you'll be wanting to, uh, you know repossess our massive office then Ugh. no sir this is a private residence i'm simply repossessing things associated with your business okay well 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 well, well good luck because you know what you'll never repossess this office this will always be given to using okay have a nice day sir My name's Theo. I'm Dan. And we're back. Welcome to the latest Gibbons and Goose guide. Now, <laughs> Gibbons and Goose has gone from strength to strength. Now, you might have noticed a few things. Our computer's in the shop and the sign is missing. It's um, at the dry cleaners, actually, so it'll be back soon. Yes, don't let all of that fool you. Gibbons and Goose are flying high. Yes, we've soared. <laughs> We're here today to talk to you about one of the most beautiful things in the world. Childbirth. Oh, uh, no, that, that's baby shit. Oh, yeah, childbirth. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> was was that was that okay? Should we do it again, Nick? Or because I, I think, did he talk over me? No. Should we should we just do it? Again? No. Happy with that? Okay, yeah, well, should we just carry on? Yeah. You'll, you'll just pick it. Okay. 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 <clears throat> now, you may remember in our last video, the Gibbons and Goose Guide to Business, Theo made rather a bold claim during a job interview. <laughs> Let's take a look. So you think you'd be a good surrogate mother and you'd be happy to carry the baby through to term? Well, you won't believe what's happened. That's right, this one is expecting. And not a moment too soon, because this is the Gibbons and Goose Guide to Having a Baby. So the first step is deciding to have a baby. Now, does this scenario seem familiar to you? Shall we have a baby? Yes. Whoa, 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 slow down. Too many couples these days are rushing into the decision to get pregnant without properly considering why. Make sure that you do it for the right reasons. Hey, I really fancy a baby today. Well, the tax implications are brilliant. Hey, fancy another baby today. We could really stick it to China by having another baby. Hey, fancy yet another baby today? I don't like even numbers. Let's have a third child. to having a baby is the conception, or as scientists call it, baby making. Now, before the 1970s, it was actually physically impossible for non-married couples to have a baby. But after a vote in 1970 that permitted premarital fertilisation for the first time, non-married couples were finally biologically able to conceive. Now, having a baby can be a tricky process, so we're here to talk you through it now. Now you're married, you no longer need to seduce your wife. Shall we do our sex? Yes. To improve your chances of making a baby, you need to limit your use of condoms. 
If you're not ready to come off condom straight away, try piercing a hole in the tip. This will allow more sperm to be received by the woman. Another option is to replace your birth control pill with smints, as these are generally less effective at preventing pregnancy. Now, it typically takes around nine months to conceive a baby, and during that time, you'll be expected to do everything you can to help fertilise the eggs. Try these tips to help you along. Consider sharing a toilet seat, doing an oral, and also really passionate kissing. Now, some couples who struggle to conceive a child will consider undergoing IVF treatment. This is when you pay a man to have intercourse with your wife and impregnate her. Whilst you watch. Let's see an example of this by watching a clip from award-winning film Indecent Proposal. So, you know the score? My bits don't got no sperm. I'm gonna pay you a million dollars to sleep with my wife. And not just sleep, if you know what I mean. You mean, you know, do stuff with her? Yeah, all the stuff. But what if I don't get her pregnant? What then? Well, I'll pay you another million dollars, and you can sleep with her again. Never. I'll never do it. I've thought about it. I will do it. Before we get into the actual mechanics of growing the baby, let's celebrate. You're pregnant. Yay! It's always a special and joyous moment when you find out you're going to be parents. To make sure you don't ruin this precious moment by saying or doing something stupid, we've got a handy list of do's and don'ts in case you're not sure how to react. Do. Appear interested and engaged with the news. Don't yawn and resume your current activity. Do. Use your facial muscles to create a smile. This will give the appearance you are feeling happy. Don't. Place your head in your hands and weep uncontrollably. Do. Suggest some sort of celebratory meal or party. Don't. Suggest some sort of celebratory binge drinking session. Good. Now that's cleared up, let's talk about growing the baby. Once the woman has laid that egg, she will sit on it for two weeks to keep it warm. Then she'll put it back inside her so the egg can hatch. Now, we're not too sure of the precise mechanics involved in the process, but it is our understanding that the baby actually grows inside the woman. Sounds like something from science fiction, eh, Dan? I know. The film Alien definitely springs to mind. The first stage of giving birth involves the woman doing a big wee. This is also known as her waters breaking. The woman will then go into labour. This can take a few days and will involve her doing manual work to help ease the baby out. Now, on the big day when you actually give birth, the woman may experience mild discomfort. So, do everything you can to try and take her mind off the pain. Oh, this is really awful. I was wondering, do you think your belly will always be round, even after the baby? Ah, oh, I wish I could take my mind off this pain. I've got an idea that'll take your mind off things. Why don't you drive us to the hospital? Oh, I'm certainly in some mild discomfort here. I'm just reading here in this book about pregnancy. Did you know it's common for the vagina to actually tear when the woman gives birth? So, it's finally here, the big day. Your partner is going into labour. Now, we want to get that baby out as quickly as possible. So now we've got some helpful hints and tips which are going to make sure this process is really speedy. Now the first one is a bit of an odd one, but actually we've heard that curry can help get the baby out. Come on baby, curry, it's your favourite, korma. Another tip that will help get the baby out really quickly is apparently to have sexual intercourse. Usually it's better to do this step before the person actually goes into labour. Ah, ooh, this is taking forever. What's wrong? Yes, something does seem to be wrong. It's taking an unusually long time. Oh, I don't believe it. You'll never guess what you've forgotten to do. What? 
always move the penis and testicles to the side to allow the baby easy access from the anus. Ugh, get it all right. Come on then, here we go. Ah, oh, oh, ah, ah, here ah. it comes. That feels here quite nice actually. Oh, yeah. oh, wow, I don't believe it. Look at this baby. Ah, oh. we did it. What an ordeal. And there you have it. We have a new baby. Easy as one, two, three. Don't let those so-called medical experts fill your head with lies and worries. Because I, for one, am sick of hearing from experts. Absolutely, Theo. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching the Gibbons and Geese Guide to Having a Baby. I've been Theo. I've been Dan. And now it is time for some hilarious outtakes. <laughs> Camera. And we're back today to, for fuck's sake, I'll start with that, I'll start with that. <laughs> we always mess up on yeah. the first, first line. And you're back watching Gibbons and Goose TV. <laughs> Gibbons and Goose's guide, no, for fuck's sake, what was Welcome it? back to Gibbons and Goose's guide. <gasps> sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey, should we have another baby today? Oh, it's a baby. Sorry. Can't get For fuck's it, sake, a baby. Start deciding why they want to do it. The, oh, I'm, now I'm doing it. You're putting me off. I just had a blank. So unlike me. Oh. Uh, hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Slow down. Too many couples these days rush into the. Di oh no! I ain't ready. Why are you so awful? <laughs> to improve your chances of getting pregnant, you need to. Oh, I need to get that first line right. Some couples who can't get pregnant will consider undergo. Oh, consider. Uh, I think I uh, I paused slightly in line as well. So it's yeah, just... yeah, that's <laughs> why I did it. <laughs> Try piercing a hole in the end of one. This will allow more sperm to be revealed. <laughs> not revealed. Could have. <sighs> this will mean more sperm can be received from the woman. For fuck's sake. This is where you pay a man to have intercourse <laughs> with your... <laughs> Sorry, man. Ah. Oh, it's just like the seduction guy part one. Oh, we tread this Except road again. this time I'm the bottom, it's eight. Oh, I didn't say you actually were naked, I Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm doing that. Okay. It's like the last turkey in the shop. It is, yeah. During such a scene of gravity. <laughs> God, this is Schindler's List at the community theatre all over again. <laughs> so, you know the score? My bit dog got no strength. <laughs> 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 